Today's video is all about pre-holiday prep. These are the 10 items that you need to help make the holidays run a little bit smoother and be a little bit less stressful so you can actually enjoy your holiday. These are the items that have really made a difference for me, so I hope you guys find it helpful. If you're new here, my name is Nicole, also known as Nikki Vegan, and I make lots of vegan recipe videos, what ate in a day videos, and just vlogs in general that kind of show that eating a vegan diet can be fun, it can be practical, it can be delicious, and it can fit into your busy life. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and let's get started with the first thing on the list. Serving spoons is one of those things you can really never have enough of, especially around the holidays when you're serving food family style or buffet style. You have a lot of different dishes and each one of those dishes is going to need some kind of serving utensil. And in years past, I definitely have run low on them and I end up using the most weird things to serve the food, either regular size spoons that don't quite do the job well. I've also resorted to using like a rubber spatula from the kitchen just because I didn't have anything else. Really does not match the aesthetic I'm going for, but I love this set that I found from Aunt Anthropology. It's like this really chic golden green that I think is so pretty. I also love a really classic simple silver set like this one. I'll put all the links for this video as well as this full list in the description box below so you don't have to try to remember everything now. This might be one of my favorite things. It's a gift wrap organizer. I'll show you what's inside in a second, but it keeps everything that I need for wrapping presents in one organized place. And as you can see, it's really narrow, so it fits in the closet perfectly. I love this. So I keep my rolled up paper in here. I can usually fit several rolls if that's what I have, but I also have a lot of gift bags in here. I've got some holiday ones from last year. And sometimes if I get one as a gift and it's in good condition, I'll keep it and repurpose it. I also repurpose tissue paper and I like that there's a little compartment so I can keep it separated and it stays nice and neat. There's also these two compartments. It's like little pockets that Velcro. I've got some Christmas cards in here and those stay nice there. I've got a happy birthday banner in here and then some little scrap pieces of um, this paper. Not exactly sure why I did that. I think I thought if I have something small to wrap, it won't go to waste. I absolutely love this thing because it fits so much and I usually have like my scissors. I've got little gift boxes in here. It fits nicely in the closet, zips up. Something that's really easy to forget about is hot plate trivets. So basically what you put between the hot platter and the table to protect the table from the heat of either the pot or the pan or the serving dish. This is another thing that you really can't have enough of. I find that when I buy things like this, I tend to buy one and I forget that in general, I usually have a couple different hot plates on the table, especially around the holidays. So it's a really good idea to stock up and you can even mix and match if you want. I like this white one a lot. I love this marble option and a wood version is also really pretty because it creates kind of a natural warm element on the table. And trivets are actually a really good way to kind of map out how you want your table to go. So let's say it's Thanksgiving day, you're setting the table, the food is still cooking in the kitchen, so you don't exactly know where all the plates are gonna go. What you can do is set the trivets out on the table, and that way you can kind of imagine, okay, like the vegan turkey's gonna go there, the mashed potatoes will go there, the stuffing will go here, and that way you make sure that you have enough room for everything on the table. And you can even put a little note on top of the trivet to help you remember what you planned out. This is one of those things that makes it a lot easier to set the table because you know that there's space for everything. And you're not going to be cramming everything in last minute when you're actually holding the hot dishes, which can be kind of stressful. These little wine vacuums look like such a gimmick. They look like the kind of thing you would see in a late night commercial, but it actually works and it makes a big difference. I've worked in restaurants for over 10 years and I will tell you that most restaurants use some version of this to make sure that the wine stays fresh because once you open a bottle of wine, it really doesn't last for very long. But when you use these wine savers, it helps to suck out some of the oxygen from the bottle, which keeps the wine tasting good longer. They're not super expensive, so I highly recommend using these whenever you're drinking wine, but especially around the holidays. This one might surprise some of you because I'm a candle lover and I usually show a lot of scented candles, but especially when you're entertaining and serving food to people, it's a really good idea to get some unscented candles. I really like these from Target. They are unscented and in little glass photos and they're so pretty. One, they create beautiful candle light, but the unscented part is important because you have a really delicious meal cooking and you've been, you know, kind of working away on creating this beautiful family meal. That's already a lot of aroma. And then if you have a bunch of different scented candles going, it's a a lot of different scents competing for people's attention and it can be overwhelming. You might think it's like the more the better, but it can be conflicting and just too much. So what I like to do is keep a scented candle in the bathroom because that's really pleasant when people walk into the bathroom and it smells nice. Also in the entryway because when they first walk in, again, it's a very welcoming thing to have a nice smelling home. But once you kind of get into where the party is going or where the dinner is being served, it's nice to have unscented candles and no one's getting a headache from too many scents. 
This next one is a bit of a self-care item. It's also a really great stocking stuffer and the price is unbeatable. I teamed up with Harry's to bring you this part of the video, especially when it's colder outside, I'm wearing a lot more pants. I feel like I'm very aware of my legs. I know a lot of people feel like it's the opposite. It's like they're really aware of their legs in the summer because you know, you're wearing shorter skirts or shorter shorts. In the winter though, I'm wearing pants and I can really feel if I haven't shaved my legs and especially if my skin is then kind of dry because of the winter air on top of it, it really doesn't feel good and it's such an easy problem to fix. If you have a great razor, you're going to love using it. That's what it's like for me. And I love the feeling of having soft, smooth, shaven legs with my pants on, with my pantyhose on, my tights, whatever I'm wearing. I just feel like I can be that much more comfortable in my skin, that much more present around the holidays. And Harry's Razors makes the most affordable, high quality razors on the market. They are German engineered at their factory in Germany. They're very passionate about creating high quality razors for everyone. So it's not just a men's brand and there's no pink tax. So if you guys have been to try Harry's. They're offering my viewers the whole trial set that will get you the five blade razor, the weighted handle, the shave gel, and also a blade cover, which is super handy if you're going to be traveling during the holidays. So definitely check that out. I have the one that's called Ember. It's the two-toned orange color, but they have a wide variety to choose from. And again, if you're thinking about holiday gifts or stocking stuffers, this is a really, really affordable way to give your loved one something that is practical. And I honestly think makes the holidays run smoother. <laughs> I didn't think about the pun there, but literally, smoother because your legs are going to be smoother. That was cheesier than I expected. <laughs> Another one that might surprise you is unscented body lotion. I really love this natural, cruelty-free, vegan version from Alba. I have a super big version of this bottle with a pump that I get from Target, and I love this lotion. I use it year-round, but especially around the holidays when the weather is a bit colder, it's really important for me to stay moisturized because when I feel like I'm dry and my skin is irritated, I'm just not super comfortable. So this might seem like a weird thing to have on the list, but I actually think it's a really important one for me because when I feel good, I definitely am, you know, much more social, much more present. And I love that this one is unscented because it doesn't compete with the perfume that I'm using or the body wash that I used. I don't have too many different, again, like conflicting scents going on. It's thick, it's emollient, it's really rich and moisturizing, but it absorbs quickly. It's not greasy. And I, like I said, I use it year round, but especially during the holidays, especially after a nice hot bath or shower, I really put a thick layer on. I put on loose, cozy pajamas, I go to bed and I feel so soft in the morning. So if you're looking for a good vegan friendly, moisturizer, this is the way to go. I do a lot of cooking around the holidays and it's nice to not have to chop up yet another onion, yet another carrot, yet another stalk of celery. I use this little ninja chopper, which I know I talk a lot about on my channel, but it's truly one of my most used kitchen items. It's under $20 and it really makes chopping up your veggies really quick and easy. It's super convenient because it's small, it's compact. I have a tiny little kitchen and it just allows me to cut up those root veggies that tend to be the base of my nut roast, my soups, my pasta sauces, just very, very quickly. I also like to use it when I'm chopping up nuts for dessert recipes, but I also like to use it to make dips and cream cheese spreads. One that I like to make for my family a lot during the holidays is a mix of vegan cream cheese, a handful of dried cranberries, a handful of almonds. I do some dried rosemary, salt, pepper, lots of black pepper, mix that all together and it turns into this really, really delicious spread that is so good on crackers. It's so easy to make. You can make it in under a minute. It's a big crowd pleaser and it's one that I make year after year after year. So I'll put that recipe in the description box below. But I I usually make it in the little ninja that I have or my mom's because my mom has the exact same one at her house. So either way, that's what I make it in. It's so easy. I can almost guarantee there will be a time around the holidays where you need a really quick last minute dessert. Frozen cookie dough balls is going to be your best friend. I can't tell you how many times this has come in handy for me. All I do is I make my favorite cookie dough. This is my pumpkin chocolate chip cookie dough. I'll use an ice cream scoop to portion it out into cookie dough balls and then I'll freeze this. You can put them closer together if you're just gonna freeze it. And once they're firm, you can just go ahead and transfer them to an airtight container. And then whenever you're ready to bake them, even if it's months later, just preheat the oven to 350 degrees and bake for one to two minutes longer than you would if it was fresh cookie dough and they will be perfect. It's so convenient, so easy. You have homemade cookies whenever you want. This comes in so handy for the holidays. 
Tupperware is another thing that you can really never have enough of during the holidays, especially because we're cooking more, there's more leftovers, and a lot of times I like to bring food that I've prepared at home over to a friend's giving or just to a friend's house to enjoy some, you know, cookies or cakes or something. So for bigger items, I really like these white corningware, corningware containers. I have two of them and they come with glass lids, but I also bought these other lids that fit right on top and they're flat. So I can actually stack these in the fridge. They hold a ton and I love that they can go from the oven to the table and then to the fridge. So like you can literally use them to cook in, but they're pretty enough to serve. And then you don't have to transfer that to another container. You can just go ahead and pop the lid on once it's cooled down, put that in the fridge. So they're really, really handy for the holidays. I also really like this glass container sets and they have these snap lids. They are so good at preventing leaks. So if you're going to be carrying food to a friend's giving or sending your guests home with leftovers, this is great because they are leak proof and really sturdy as well. I also use these round containers a lot in my kitchen, probably more than any other container. I love how sturdy they are too. I've dropped these in my sink while washing them and they're totally fine. I also really like that they utilize vertical space. So any of you who are into interior design, you know the importance of really maximizing vertical space and vertical storage because there's a lot of real estate there that doesn't get used. The same is true if you think about it when it comes to space in the refrigerator. A lot of containers are short and wide so they take up a lot of surface area and these are great because they're quite small in terms of the amount of space they take up but they're vertical and so they fit a lot without being super large. So those are my 10 must-haves to prep for the holiday season, but I would love to know what you guys think. So comment below and let me know what your must-haves are. If you have any questions about anything you saw in this video, again, let me know in the comments. I love chatting to you guys there. Everything you saw in this video is going to be in the description box below. And that is also where you're gonna find the link to try Harry's. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Whether you get it for yourself, you're giving it as a stocking stuffer. It is my favorite razor. I've used it for such a long time and I really think you guys will love it. Happy holidays and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye.